Hi friends, in this video we are discussing line integral problems. Okay, before going to solve the problems, I will give one task for you. That is, evaluate integral x dy minus y dx around the circle x square plus y square is equal to 1. Here you observe, till now we are solved the problems like uh, evaluate or work done or else the problem in the form of f bar dot dr bar. So, here directly they are given f bar dot dr bar directly. They are not uh, separated like uh, previously uh, f bar and uh, dr bar separately. So, they are given directly f bar dot dr bar. Where we are uh, discussing means around the circle. Circle is unit circle that is. You see circle is nothing but like this form or not here. So, here the curve is closed curve. Till now we are discussed only for a straight line or else y is equal to x square parabola or y is equal to x cube like okay that is nothing but uh, we are discussed only simple and open curves not a closed curves but here we are discussing in a closed curve okay now you have to solve uh, this problem and you have to answer either a b c d or e okay now now how to solve this one means you require basic knowledge now i am going to give that knowledge before going to solve the problems on a uh, circle circles or else closed curves we have to learn some concept basic concepts you have to remember see integral over c f bar dr bar where c is a closed curve closed curve means that may be circle that may be hyperbola that may be square or that may be rectangle okay uh, in this case it gives that represents the double uh, sorry integral over c f bar dot dr it gives the amount by which the fluid tends to turn the circle by rotating around C. It represents fluid tends to turn the curve by rotating around C. Okay. Now, F bar dot dr bar means the result is here either vector or scalar. But here F bar is a vector and uh, dr bar is a scalar uh, vector. So, dot product of the two vectors, F bar is a vector, dr bar is a vector. No? Dot product of the vector gives what? Scalar. Scalar means that may be the constant value may be is equal to 0, greater than 0 or less than 0. If the value is 0, then you can say F is irrotational. F is irrotational is nothing but the fluid not, rot not no rotation, does not rotate, okay? Rota irrotational is nothing but does not rotate. For example, you see, if you take a uh, fan, like uh, rough, roughly I am giving, this is if you consider I, this is J and this is K, I, J, K's are there. Now, you turn, once you switch off the, switch on the fan and after that turn off, then that may be I is false on J or else I may be, becomes uh, false on K. In that case, K false on J. Okay, like if it is uh, rotating will happen, one, if one falls on two, two falls on three. Okay, now, if uh, again three falls on one, if at one, if you are stopped, then there is uh, no changes. If after turning, same places, if it is K, the fan wings are uh, reached same place then there is no change nothing but there is a no rotation okay next if it is greater than zero fluid tends to rotate a uh, anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction next if it is less than zero then the fluid rotate a uh, clockwise direction you can say suppose if it is is equal to zero there is no rotation we will say okay now we will uh, solve the problems on the f dot dr around the closed curves. I am solving if f bar is equal to minus 2x plus y times half i plus 3x plus 2y times half j compute the circulation. Circulation is nothing but what? Indirectly closed curve. f bar about the circle c in the xy plane. xy plane only they are given. So, there is a no z plane with a center at the origin and radius is 1. Radius is 1 is nothing but unit circle. Origin means here you can say simply the given is unit circle x square plus y square is equal to 1 like a previous problem only what you are doing x square plus y square uh, is equal to 1 can you say like uh, it is in the x y plane with a uh, center at origin and radius is 1 okay na? but only here f dot dr they are changed so this is f they are given here previously they are given f bar dot dr bar directly okay now i will solve this problem you try to solve this problem and uh, give the answer okay now my problem is 
this is the problem given f bar is minus 2x plus y times half i plus 3x plus 2y times half j and uh, where the curve is closed curve is x square plus y square is equal to 1 so we have to evaluate integral over c f bar dot dr bar that gives f1 dx plus f2 dy yes or no this is in the x y plane obviously dz is not there okay next integral this is a closed curve c here also closed curve c f1 is nothing but minus 2x plus y times of dx plus 3x plus 2y times of dy okay here you observe now we have to evaluate this uh, this integrand in the circle unit circle x square plus y square is equal to 1 here it is not like y is equal to x y is equal to x square if it is like in this one then you can substitute directly but here you have x square plus y square is equal to 1 so here also you can write y is in terms of x means y is equal to under root of 1 minus x square you can write but it will be lengthy process so what i am doing means i am changing the variable here in this case i am changing into parametric form parametric form is nothing but x and y r we are changing into another variable t so in this case i am considering x is equal to unit circle generally what we are taking means if x comma y if you want to change into another coordinates means that is polar coordinates we are taking x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta in this case you have a x x comma y are in terms of r comma theta but now i am changing x and y are in terms of theta this is if you are changing a more than one variable in one variable one independent variable then you can say more than variables one or more variables we are changing into one variable then you can say this is a parametric form if it is more than uh, like x comma y are we are changing into r comma theta is nothing but polar form so are you understood here the difference between a uh, parametric form and polar form okay parametric form is represent only one curve okay uh, independent of one variable here so i am changing x is equal to cos t and uh, theta okay theta t which is not an issue so y is equal to sin t in this case in the unit circle this is unit circle no? so theta is uh, from where to where theta is here total 360 degrees uh, from 0 to 360 is nothing but 2 pi you have to take so the limits also we have to change x y limits we have to change are not here so theta is from 0 to 2 pi now x is equal to cos theta y is equal to sin theta we will substitute here whatever the dx that also we have to change no? dy also we have to change no? so dx is equal to okay dx is here minus sin theta d theta dy is equal to cos theta d theta friends you have to understand one thing here you observe we are changing x terms are in terms of one variable t or theta okay next y also we are changing into same variable then only it is called parametric form if you are changing x comma y are in terms of r comma theta x is in terms of r and theta y is also in terms of r and theta and this is called a polar form okay na? in the polar form in this case you require r limit and theta limit but in this case which re, uh, which limits are required only t limits here in this case we require only theta limits because we are doing only line integral if you are doing a double integral double integral in that case we have to go for the param uh, we have to go for polar form okay na? now anyway now dx to dy values x value y values and theta limits you have to substitute in this equation then it will becomes integral from 0 to 2 pi friends you remember we are doing a closed circle this problem we can also do by using a green's theorem because where c is a closed curve where c is a closed y closed curve okay na due to that reason we can solve this problem by using green's theorem also okay we will discuss green's theorem in the next videos okay now limits of theta is theta is from 0 to 2 pi okay now what is uh, this two times of x is what cos theta into cos theta plus y is sin theta into dx dx is minus sin theta d theta okay plus 3x 3x is cos theta plus 2y means sin theta into dy dy means cos theta d theta so you have to simplify this now it is very easy now theta is from 0 to 2 pi now multiply it said theta d theta here is here also there na? so total you take d theta outside then this is you can write two times of cos theta sin theta plus into minus minus sin theta into sin theta sin square theta d theta i am writing outside okay plus three cos theta into cos theta three cos square theta next this is you can write plus into plus plus 
to sin theta cos theta okay overall we have a d theta right here you have 2 cos theta sin theta so can you write 2 sin theta cos theta nothing but what 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to sin 2 theta here also you have 2 sin theta cos theta so this is also sin 2 theta so overall you have 2 times of sin 2 theta so limits from 0 to 2 pi to sin 2 theta so i am separating uh, the integral values here so in this case we have minus integral 0 to 2 pi sin square theta plus 3 times of integral 0 to 2 pi cos square theta d theta here also you have a d theta sorry here also we have d theta right now integral of uh, sin 2 theta is minus cos 2 theta by 2 limits from 0 to 2 pi this is sin square theta is there na? so this one you can do in of course 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 you can write but uh, you can also write this as 4 times of integral 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 sin square theta plus this is 4 times you can write because it is the even function here also it is even function 4 times 4 times of 3 is nothing but 12 times of integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square theta d theta values theorem we can apply for that purpose only i am doing this okay now this 2 to getting answer minus of cos 4 pi minus cos 0 minus 4 times of this is how you can add this is 1 by 2 pi by 2 okay plus 12 times of this is also 1 by 2 pi by 2 now cos 4 pi cos 4 pi value is 1 minus uh, here 2 times of 2 4 in the numerator 4 denominator 4 getting cancelled here uh, 2 times of 2 is nothing but 4 4 times of 3 is 12 so here you have a 3 pi this is a pi and this is 1 minus 1 is 0 so 0 plus 2 pi hence the total answer is what we have 2 pi is it clear for everyone friends you have to remember only one thing here so if the given integrand around the unit circle here uh, we can apply green's theorem also green's theorem we can apply whenever curve is a closed curve curve is a closed curve okay next moreover you have to observe if it is possible in a line integral x square plus y square is equal to 1 they are given so we are changing into parametric form in the parametric form both terms suppose three terms are there even though those three terms also we have to change into one variable only so in, in polar form you have to change the two variable if it is in a spherical coordinates or a cylindrical coordinates means we will change into three variables parametric form in parametric in polar and spherical how to change is clear na? yes thank you for watching this video please answer this one okay